hi friends welcome back so guys um, in this video we are going to learn about how to fetch the data from the database with the help of API okay in Laravel so in Laravel we have one option called like API dot PHP like web routes and all we have so I will show you that so guys um as I said that we are going to fetch the data from the database with the help of API okay so first thing I will show you my database okay so inside that I have created students and um, pasted this data okay so inserted this data this data are inserted by the help of postman using API okay if you want to know about this how to insert the data using this postman into the database so please watch out the previous video that is given in the description how to insert the data into database using API okay with postman so guys yes now we are continuing with the uh, second part which is the read the data fetch the data using API okay so um, this notification close okay so now we will uh, first thing is that yes we have uh, first thing I will show you that you have to go to routes API dot PHP okay so till now we did with the um, inserting of data using API okay API dot PHP so second is that we have to use our controller okay so inside app HTTP controller API controller okay so this was the last output okay if you are getting confused please watch out the previous video so it will be clear to you and now we are third part is that student dot PHP that is our model okay so as simple it is very clear now so in this fetching of data we are going to use three things that is api dot php controller and student model right so now uh, yes now first we'll go to api dot php routes api dot php so now we have to create a route to get the data using api okay so these data which are there i am going to retrieve this data use the api so let's create one route so route is to I am going to get it so let's give the get request and set a URL so I am going to get students data so I will set one URL and I have created one controller called API controller app HTTP um, HTTP controller API controller okay so I am going to name that API controller let me close this okay API controller okay at um, we are going to read the data okay or fetch the data so I'm going to read the data read read so let's or show okay we'll keep it as show so let's go to show let's go to the API controller at the function called show okay so let's go to the API controller so we don't have any function called show so let's create that so public function public function show with the method okay that is uh, we are going to declare now okay so let's create one variable called students um, students okay so I am using this variable because I have insert I am going to retrieve the students data as a API okay so I have using this student so let's give a model called students okay I mean student so I will tell you that um, yes okay so this is the function now so this student is nothing but my model so I'm going to use that model at the top and this model will what do is that go to the database and fetch the table okay with the fillable contents that is there so this table is my table name that is students and these are the fields f name l name email password okay so these are the contents over there so it will take this all thing and fetch into this function by the eloquent model okay so this model is another eloquent model so I'm using that eloquent model so after this now we have to return it okay so let's return response oops R E yes response response with the um, JSON okay so Jason and what we are going to response is that this content 
okay so I will copy that and paste into this yes okay so now set so it's now set so what we are going to do is that we will test it now okay to fetch using the postman right so this postman if you don't know just watch out that how to use this postman how to install this and what is the use of this so this use use of postman is nothing but um to uh, test the api it is best for testing apis okay as simple so guys now we are going to fetch this data with the help of api okay so let's go to the api and let's click on new route okay so i will tell you what i was using for this okay so now let's i want to take one new one okay so these are new request so yes so i will show you the output of this so before this you have to make sure that your artiness artisan is served so i will show you the output of this okay so um, it's loading and come on dude okay so this is the output okay so now um our get request can be used on this framework also okay or else you can use your postman but to insert data you cannot use the this okay so i will show you one demo on this first so api slash um what is our route called students so make sure this api is there api is a feature of the laravel that is inside this okay so where is that api.php okay so inside route api.php this gives the students copy the students and it will go to that controller and get it so to use this route before that you have to mention api okay so let's click enter and see the output okay so we are getting two datas okay so you can get over here also to get the data it's a uh, fine but to post to insert the data it's not possible from this framework so we are going to use this postman so if you want to know to insert this postman just watch out the previous video uh, which is in the description link is given so guys now i will tell you i have two datas over here and i have viewed it over here okay so that thing um, now let's go to postman so we will get the request so i am going to copy this link and paste it over here so now let's get it choose get okay so we are getting this so now let's send the request and we will get the data okay so we are getting the data so guys you are fetching the data okay so by how using the api so i'll show you the database and see here uh, with prakash om prakash is there right so let's check out this f name with prakash om prakash okay so all you are getting with the help of api okay so done so i will tell you now i will explain you in simple way that it should be very clear to you so guys first you are creating one route to call that your controller to work with the api so i am going to api controller and calling this function so and fetching all the data of this student eloquent model which is this eloquent model has your table okay this eloquent model has your table with the fillable contents right so now um, with this help of api.php you are getting only the data as a very simple this laravel has a awesome feature of api so you can get the data with that in your um, front end browser also or you can get with the post id i mean postman also okay so guys in this video that's it and uh, please watch out my next video that is how to um get the data by id if i click slash 2 and get the data so you will get it okay so that is we'll do in next video so guys please subscribe my channel like the video share the video and thank you for watching once again and uh, thank you